Here we're going to look at Hess's law a little bit more. This is of course dealing with enthalpy. We're trying to figure out the heat released or the heat um, obtained through a reaction when we take solid boron and mixing it with oxygen gas to get, uh, this is called boron trioxide. And so this is not a readily, it's not a reaction that, that uh, works very easily, that you can easily do in a laboratory, but we have some reference reactions with the appropriate enthalpy changes that we might use to come up with the result of this. And uh, so now you see that there's four reference equations, so it gets a little bit more complicated, but again, the procedure, the mechanization is about the same as before. Notice that we have boron on the left side and we have boron trioxide on the right side. So let's kind of rummage around in there. It's kind of like a, a potpourri of things and let's see what we can find. Now notice our first equation has boron trioxide on the left side of the equation. So if we turn this equation around, we have it on the right side, which is where we want it. So what I'm going to do is start off with taking the first equation and turning it around to multiplying times the negative one. So it's negative one. Whoa, I'm getting a little ahead of myself negative one times equation number one. Okay, when I do that, the equation is then as follows. Uh, three moles of oxygen gas, three moles of oxygen gas, plus uh, one mole of, hmm, what is that? Two borons and six hydrogens. That's called diborane, or it's also called boron hexahydride. Wow, those are difficult names. So. Diborane is easier, so we'll call it that. So three oxygen uh, gas molecules plus one mole of uh, diboron. So B2H6, that's a gas, reacts to form boron trioxide, and that's a solid, plus three moles of water in gas format. Okay, in the gas state, and then of course, since we turn the equation around, this now becomes delta H of minus, minus 2,035 kilojoules. Okay, so we at least have that. Now, notice we want solid boron on the left side of the equation, and we have solid boron here. So what I'm going to do here is take that equation and simply plop it down right there, but uh, let's see, do we have this number, correct number of moles? Two moles here, two moles there. So I don't even have to do anything to the equation. I can just grab that fourth equation and just place it there. So this simply becomes equation number four and just place it right there without doing anything to it. So maybe we can say one times equation number four. So it gives us two moles of solid boron plus three moles of hydrogen gas react to give us one mole of diborane, as we call it, or boron hexahydride, plus, well, that's it. That's all we have on that side. And that requires, delta H, requires a positive 30 kilojoules. So it's a reaction that you have to add heat to. It's an endothermic reaction. So notice we now have two borons here. We have uh, one mole of boron trioxide over there, so things are pretty good, but now we ended up with, oh, wait a minute, we have diborane on the right side, we have diboron on the left side, that cancels out, so we're good there. Uh, we have three moles of oxygen gas here and only one and a half moles there, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have three moles of water in gas format, we have nothing on the, on the other side, so let's see, we have some more equations here. Mm -hmm. Ah, so we have hydrogen gas over here and we don't have any hydrogen gas on the right side, but I have hydrogen gas here. Now, if I take this equation and turn it around so that this hydrogen appears on the right side and then multiply that equation by three, so now I have three moles of hydrogen gas, because I have three moles of hydrogen gas there, I might be able to cancel that out. So because whatever you have on the left side will cancel out with whatever you have on the right side. So I'm gonna take equation number three, turn it around and multiply the times three. So that's minus three times equation number three. And let's plot that down. So we take equation number three, so we take the product, they now become reactants. So three times hydrogen in liquid, or water in the liquid state. So three times H2O in the liquid state reacts to form 
three moles of hydrogen gas plus three times one and a half, which is three and a half moles of oxygen gas. And, of course, since we turn this around, this now becomes positive, and there's three times as many. So for that, I'll probably want to use a calculator. Uh, not really, that's three, that's minus 18, that would be delta H is equal to 882 kilojoules, and it's positive, a positive 882 kilojoules. So that's this number multiplied times three, and then multiplied times minus one, minus one to, sign, to change the sign. All right, now it looks like I have just about everything I need with one more problem. I have hydrogen gas here, I have hydrogen liquid here. Ooh, so I have to have one more equation to take care of that, and that equation is right here. I want to get rid of the hydrogen gas, and I want to get rid of the hydrogen liquid. So that means I want this on the right side and this on the left side, so I want to turn that equation around so I can cancel these two out right here. And... Uh, I need three of them, I only have one of them here, so turn it around, multiply times three, and of course I have to do the same over there. So I'm going to take minus three times equation number two. When I do that, I end up with three moles of hydrogen gas. Uh, so yeah, water gas, that's right. And three moles of water in the liquid state. And of course, I take this number right here, multiply times a negative 3, that's minus 132 kilojoules in that exchange. So in other words, when gas turns into liquid, it gives off heat. Of course, that's therefore an exothermic reaction. Now I think if I add all those equations together, I will end up with what I am trying to get to, which is, of course, this equation right there. All right, let's see if I was successful. There, on the left side, what do I have? I have three moles of oxygen gas plus one mole of diborane, and that's also a gas. I have two moles of solid boron. I have three moles of hydrogen gas. I have three moles of water in the liquid state. Plus, I have three moles of water in the gas state. So those are all the reactants of the combined equation. So those all react to form. On the right side I have one mole of boron trioxide. And that's a gas. Oh, no, that's a solid. That's not a gas, that's a solid. Plus three moles of water in the gas state plus one mole of diborane that is a gas plus three moles of hydrogen gas plus three and a half or yeah three half moles of oxygen gas and finally three moles of water in the liquid state and of course, I now have to add all those enthalpy changes together as they are. So when I do that, I get uh, 2,035, and it's negative, plus 30, plus 882, and minus 132. It ends up with a delta H, an enthalpy change, equal to minus 1,255 kilojoules. All right, now... Let's simplify, that's always the fun part. Let me get a different color, so we we'll see what we're doing here. Okay, so we have diborane on the left side, and we have diborane on the right side, so this definitely cancels out with this. We have three moles of, hydro of uh, water in the liquid state, and three moles of water on, in the liquid state, so those cancel out. See, I told you this is fun. Uh, let's see here, we have Hmm, three moles of water in the gas state and three moles of water in the gas state, so those cancel out. Notice I have three moles of oxygen gas and one and a half moles of oxygen gas over there, so if I subtract from both sides one and a half moles of oxygen gas, so that goes away, this goes away, and I'll end up with three halves 
moles of oxygen gas. And uh, let's see here. Um, three moles of hydrogen gas and three moles of hydrogen gas. That cancels out. Wow. See, this is a lot of fun. Now, all we have left on the left side is solid boron and oxygen gas in the correct proportions. And on the right side, all we have is boron trioxide and only one mole, again, in the correct proportion. So I think we were successful in the end. We now have two moles of solid boron plus one and a half moles of oxygen gas. That's these two right here. They react to form boron trioxide, and that's a solid, with the delta H equal to minus 1,255 kilojoules. Wow. So, notice it's a powerful technique. We could not figure out what this would be equal to during in a laboratory. It's very difficult to do. But we can see that if we go ahead and follow all these example equations, those reference equations, with the known enthalpy changes, we can combine them in such a way, turn them around, multiply times numbers, so that we can go ahead and obtain the very same equation when we add up all the enthalpy changes together, that equals the enthalpy change of what this reaction would be. And that's how you do that.